NASA's space shuttle program was the beginning of a significant era in space exploration. Running from 1972 to 2011, it combined both innovation, technology, and scientific advancement. The shuttle was designed to provide NASA with an efficient and reusable method of carrying astronauts and cargo to a permanently manned space station. The shuttle was a groundbreaking and ambitious endeavor, and the first of its kind. While not without issues, the program was by all measures a success. Officially known as the Space Transportation System, shortened to STS, the concept was envisioned in 1969 during the initial planning phase to design a system of reusable spacecraft. The program began setting records with its first launch on April 12, 1981, and continued to set high marks of achievement and endurance through 30 years of missions. During the program's four decades, six space shuttles were built. Like the spacecraft of the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs, each had a unique name. Hi, I'm your host, Dennis Gill, and in this episode of Revealing History, we delve into the origins and significance behind the names of each space shuttle. We shed light on the inspiration that fueled these iconic spacecraft, inspiration that came from modern day science fiction to NASA's desire to reflect the spirit of exploration, innovation, and human achievement. Let's get started. Enterprise was the name of the first space shuttle, although it was originally intended to be named Constitution in honor of the United States Constitution. This was also the name given to the United States Navy frigate, which was launched in 1797. However, as a result of a write-in campaign initiated by Star Trek fans, President Gerald Ford decided to make the name Enterprise after the fictional starship from the original TV series that ran for three seasons in the late 1960s. The decision, in part, was intended to get the public excited about the new era of space exploration that the space shuttle program would bring. Unlike the Enterprise from Star Trek, the space shuttle Enterprise would never get to explore space. It was initially built as a test vehicle and did not have the necessary engines or heat shield to make it into orbit. The plan was to eventually outfit Enterprise for spaceflight and make it the second space shuttle to fly after Columbia. But changes in the original design for the orbiters during the construction of Columbia and the costs related to the modifications led to a different outcome. The space shuttle Enterprise was never flown in space, but did contribute to the program's overall success while being used for atmospheric and ground tests from 1977 to 1985. It currently sits on display at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York City. Columbia took its name from a small sailing vessel that operated out of Boston in 1792 and was one of the first United States Navy ships to circumvent the globe. The ship's exploration of new territories and its pioneering spirit made it a fitting namesake for the first space shuttle to fly in space. Additionally, the command module of Apollo 11, the first mission to land a man on the moon, was also named Columbia, which also served as an inspiration for the naming of the second shuttle. Columbia's first mission, STS-1, began with its launch from the Kennedy Space Center on April 12, 1981, with the objective of testing the shuttle's systems in space. As a result of the testing that occurred over several missions, some design changes were made to future space shuttles, making Columbia and Enterprise unique among the shuttle fleet. In all, Columbia would fly 28 missions and complete 4,808 orbits around the Earth. During re-entry on February 1, 2003, Columbia broke apart, killing all seven crew members. The investigation that followed determined that some of the shuttle's heat shields were damaged during the launch, which caused the orbiter's structural integrity to be compromised as it was exposed to extreme heat of re-entry. Challenger was the third shuttle built, and the second to be rated for space. Initially, built as a structural test article, it was used as such for only 11 months before being modified to fly into space. 
The name Challenger paid homage to HMS Challenger, a British Royal Navy research vessel that conducted groundbreaking oceanic research in the 1870s. Challenger was also the name of the Apollo 17 lunar module that would land the last two astronauts on the moon in 1972. The Space Shuttle Challenger was responsible for many firsts in space during its short life. It carried the first American woman into space and the first African-American astronauts. Challenger was also the first from which a spacewalk was conducted. It was the first shuttle to be launched at night and the first shuttle to land at night. And it was the first to have two female crew members on board at the same time. Challenger had completed nine missions when on January 28, 1986, it experienced a catastrophic failure 73 seconds after liftoff, killing all seven crew members. The Space Shuttle Discovery was named after two historic ships, Henry Hudson's 17th century ship that explored North America's eastern seaboard and James Cook's ship that navigated the Pacific Ocean, contributing significantly to the understanding of global geography. The name would symbolize the desire to uncover new frontiers in space and expand our understanding of the cosmos. Discovery was the third space-worthy shuttle to enter into service with its launch on August 30, 1984. Discovery had the honor of performing both return-to-flight missions following the Challenger and Columbia accidents. Additionally, Discovery carried the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit and the oldest astronaut into space, John Glenn, who was 77 when he flew aboard STS-95 in 1998. Discovery flew 39 missions with its final being on March 9, 2011, and it now sits on display at the Smithsonian's Udvor Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia. The fourth space shuttle built, Atlantis's name was a tribute to the RV Atlantis, the primary research vessel used by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute from 1930 to 1966, which traveled over half a million miles researching the ocean. The Space Shuttle Atlantis lifted off for the first time to space on October 3, 1985 during STS-51. After returning to Earth just four days later, it was serviced and launched again after 50 days, making it the shortest turnaround for any shuttle. Atlantis launched the planetary probe Magellan to Venus and Galileo to Jupiter and was the first space shuttle to launch an interplanetary probe. In all, the Space Shuttle Atlantis flew 33 missions and orbited the Earth 4,848 times. Its final mission on July 8, 2011 was also the last for the shuttle program. Atlantis now sits on display at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex in Florida. The Space Shuttle Endeavour is the fifth and final shuttle constructed. It was commissioned after the loss of Challenger and built with spare parts from Discovery and Atlantis. After the Challenger disaster, thought was initially given to the idea of modifying the Enterprise to make it spaceworthy. However, it was deemed to be cost prohibitive, so the decision to build a new shuttle was made. Endeavour was named after the British Royal Navy ship captained by James Cook on his first voyage. Cook was also the captain of another historic ship for which the Space Shuttle Discovery got its name. The name was picked after NASA ran a national competition for schools to come up with a name for the new orbiter. Among the criteria was that it had to be named after an exploratory or research vessel, and the name had to be easily understood in the context of space. Of the schools that participated in the contest, one-third suggested the name Endeavour. Endeavour made its maiden flight during STS-49 on May 7, 1992. Among its accomplishments over its service life are the first service missions of the Hubble Space Telescope and the delivery of one of the modules used to construct the International Space Station. Of note was STS-118, which included teacher and astronaut Barbara Morgan. Barbara was the backup for Christy McAuliffe, who was killed when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded. The Space Shuttle Endeavour made 25 flights to space, with its last being on May 16, 2011. Endeavour is now on display at the California Science Center in Los Angeles. The names of NASA space shuttles were carefully chosen to reflect the spirit of exploration, innovation, and human achievement. 
From enterprise symbolizing future potential to endeavor embodying the pursuit of knowledge, each name carried a legacy that extended beyond its missions. While the space shuttle program is no longer active, the names and the accomplishments of these shuttles continue to inspire generations, reminding us of humanity's ceaseless quest to explore the unknown and push the boundaries of space. I hope that you found this episode of Revealing History both informative and entertaining. If you learned something, please consider supporting us by liking this video and subscribing. And let us know in the comments what you think. I'm Dennis Gill, and until next time, thanks for watching this episode of Revealing History.